The name progesterone is self-explanatory. It is the progestational hormone essential for pregnancy. However, this steroid hormone is far more than a gestational agent. Progesterone is recognized as a key physiological component of not only the menstrual cycle and pregnancy, but also as an essential precursor of other gonadal and non-gonadal hormones such as aldosterone, cortisol, estradiol, and testosterone. Based on current findings, progesterone and novel progesterone-based drugs have many important functions, including contraception, treatment of dysfunctional uterine bleeding, immune response, and prevention of cancer. Reproduction and life are not possible without progesterone. Thus, a better understanding of this essential molecule could enable safe and effective use of this hormone in many clinical conditions. In the non-pregnant women, the corpus luteum, a hormone-secreting structure that develops in the ovary after an ovum egg, has been released from the dominant follicle and is the primary source of progesterone. The corpus luteum has two fates, depending on whether there is a fertilized egg. If fertilization and implantation occur, by day 9, the blastocyst secretes human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG. The hormone human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, is produced by the embryo's trophoblast cells, cells which will later become the placenta. This same embryo-produced hormone HCG is the basis for pregnancy tests when it simultaneously appears in the mother's blood and urine. HCG is vital in the continuation of progesterone secretion from the corpus luteum. Progesterone is critical in maintaining the lining of the endometrium, which is necessary for the implantation and growth of the embryo. The corpus luteum is then known as the corpus luteum graviditatis. The corpus luteum does not have this role for the remainder of the pregnancy. Instead, the placenta maintains the pregnancy through progesterone secretion, and the corpus luteum degenerates around week 12. This is known as luteoplacental shift, and it signals the establishment of ongoing pregnancy. The alternate fate of the corpus luteum occurs if the egg does not undergo fertilization. It stops secreting progesterone, decays and turns into a corpus albicans. Without progesterone maintaining the endometrium, women shed the lining, resulting in menstruation. Progesterone is primarily known as the pregnancy hormone in women, and most of its function relates to maintaining pregnancy specifically by preparing the endometrium, decreasing myometrial contractions for implantation, promoting gestation, and inhibition of lactation during pregnancy. It also plays a role in the menstrual cycle, causing capillary growth and development with the result of increased vascularization and blood flow. Progesterone also causes an increase in the mucus lining the cervix, resulting in a thick, impenetrable barrier preventing sperm to penetration. To ensure pregnancy sperm should be residing in the cervical services prior to ovulation, where they are shunted by retrograde, upward uterine contractions at regular intervals, approximately 6 per minute. Sperm can reside in the cervical crevices for up to 4 days. Sperm must be there prior to ovulation when the progesterone blocks the cervical entrance and prevents further penetration. Simply put, the sperm can wait for the egg, but the egg with a short life expectancy of 24 hour can't wait for the sperm. The properties of increased mucus secretion and thickening of the cervical mucus by progesterone provide a clinically relevant rationalization for progestin-dependent contraceptives. The mucosal thickening in the cervix by progesterone also plays an important role in innate immunity by establishing a barrier to pathogens and secreting immune cells such as leukocytes. Progesterone has also been studied regarding its protective effect on various neurological disorders, osteoporosis, benign prostate hyperplasia, and osteoporosis. In the setting of the nervous system, progesterone plays a role in myelin proliferation, whereas in the musculoskeletal system, this steroid hormone interacts with estrogen to form an equilibrium for peak bone mineral density. In addition to initialing and maintaining pregnancy, progesterone has a number of other medical applications. Maintenance of uterine quiescence in late pregnancy. Progesterone administration maintains uterine quiescence in late pregnancy and delays delivery, particularly in patients with short uterine cervixes. Recent meta-analysis proved that vaginal progesterone decreases the risk of preterm birth and improves perinatal outcomes in singleton gestations with a mid-trimester sonographic cervical length, 25 mm. Birth control. 
In combined oral contraceptive pills, the doses of estrogen are not sufficient to prevent ovulation. However, the progestin component, or in the case of mini pills, progestin alone, suppresses GnRH gonadotropin releasing hormone secretion from the hypothalamus, leading to decreased FSH and LH release from the anterior pituitary gland. The estrogen component potentiates the action of progestin and stabilizes the endometrium reducing breakthrough bleeding. Progestins may prevent implantation because of their atrophic effect on the endometrium. Moreover, progestins minimize sperm penetration by enhancing the development of thick cervical mucus. Hormone replacement therapy. Conventional hormone replacement therapy includes estrogen and progesterone treatment to mimic hormones created by the human ovary. Hormone replacement can be used in women with premature ovarian failure, menopause, and secondary or tertiary hypogonadism. Progestins, along with estrogen, can be used in postmenopausal women with an intact uterus to relieve the symptoms associated with menopause like vasomotor symptoms or genitourinary symptoms and to prevent osteoporosis. Estrogen alone will cause the endometrial lining to grow, so a woman with an intact uterus must have progestogen with estrogen to protect her uterus from endometrial hyperplasia or malignancy. In summary, progesterone is necessary for successful embryo implantation and pregnancy maintenance. Vaginal progesterone treatment minimizes the risk of recurrent miscarriage and decreases the risk of preterm birth, saving many fetal lives. However, progesterone is far more than a gestational agent. Progesterone is an essential steroidogenetic precursor of other gonadal and non-gonadal hormones, such as aldosterone, cortisol, estradiol, and testosterone. These hormones are responsible for innumerable functions, such as sodium conservation in the kidney, regulation of blood pressure, response to stress and low blood glucose concentration, development of female and male secondary sexual characteristics, Progesterone also plays an important role in the nervous system. Its neurogenic effect is essential for normal brain development in fetuses, while the neuroprotective effect of progesterone improves the patient's survival after traumatic brain injury. However, progesterone is far more than a gestational agent. Progesterone is an essential steroidogenetic precursor of other gonadal and non-gonadal hormones, such as aldosterone, cortisol, estradiol, and testosterone. These hormones are responsible for innumerable functions such as sodium conservation in the kidney, regulation of blood pressure, response to stress and low blood glucose concentration, development of female and male secondary sexual characteristics. Progesterone also plays an important role in the nervous system. Its neurogenic effect is essential for normal brain development in fetuses, while the neuroprotective effect of progesterone improves the patient's survival after traumatic brain injury. In addition to initialing and maintaining pregnancy, progesterone has a number of other medical applications. Maintenance of uterine quiescence in late pregnancy. Progesterone administration maintains uterine quiescence in late pregnancy and delays delivery, particularly in patients with short uterine cervixes. Recent meta-analysis proved that vaginal progesterone decreases the risk of preterm birth and improves perinatal outcomes in singleton gestations with a mid-trimester sonographic cervical length less than or equal to 25 mm. Birth control. In combined oral contraceptive pills, the doses of estrogen are not sufficient to prevent ovulation. However, the progestin component, or in the case of mini pills, progestin alone, suppresses GnRH gonadotropin releasing hormone secretion from the hypothalamus, leading to decreased FSH and LH release from the anterior pituitary gland. The estrogen component potentiates the action of progestin and stabilizes the endometrium, reducing breakthrough bleeding. Progestins may prevent implantation because of their atrophic effect on the endometrium. Moreover, progestins minimize sperm penetration by enhancing the development of thick cervical mucus. Hormone Replacement Therapy Conventional hormone replacement therapy includes estrogen and progesterone treatment to mimic hormones created by the human ovary. Hormone replacement can be used in women with premature ovarian failure, menopause, and secondary or tertiary hypogonadism. Progestins, along with estrogen, can be used in postmenopausal women with an intact uterus for hormone replacement therapy to relieve the symptoms associated with menopause, such as vasomotor or genitourinary symptoms, and to prevent osteoporosis. 
Estrogen alone will cause the endometrial lining to grow, so a woman with an intact uterus must have progestogen with estrogen to protect her uterus from endometrial hyperplasia or malignancy. In summary, progesterone is necessary for successful embryo implantation and pregnancy maintenance. Vaginal progesterone treatment minimizes the risk of recurrent miscarriage and decreases the risk of preterm birth, saving many fetal lives. However, progesterone is far more than a gestational agent. Progesterone is an essential steroidogenetic precursor of other gonadal and non-gonadal hormones, such as aldosterone, cortisol, estradiol, and testosterone. These hormones are responsible for innumerable functions such as sodium conservation in the kidney, regulation of blood pressure, response to stress and low blood glucose concentration, development of female and male secondary sexual characteristics. Progesterone also plays an important role in the nervous system. Its neurogenic effect is essential for normal brain development in fetuses, while the neuroprotective effect of progesterone improves the patient's survival after traumatic brain injury. To learn more about progesterone and women's health, read the full article in the Informed Woman magazine, your trusted subscription-based digital resource for women's health care.